Hey guys, it's Graham over at TheRecordingRevolution.com. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, welcome to week three of the One Song, One Month Challenge. Uh, today we're going to look at virtual instruments, okay? We're going to open up some instruments and look at how we can get some bass guitars, some keyboards, uh, some strings into our session real quickly and for free. All right, so let's jump into Pro Tools and we'll take a look. Okay, so here we are in my Pro Tools session. The same one we've been working on. I've got my two acoustic guitar parts and I've got some... Uh, drum loops that are playing through Strike, my drum plugin. So what I'm going to do is open up a new virtual instrument and I'm going to use that instrument track to do it. I'll use a mono instrument, create, and there it is. I'm going to drag it up here to the top. I like to work there on the top and I'm going to call it bass since that's what I want to record first. And uh, if you want to just work in the edit window, instead of flipping over to the mix window to insert your plugin, just a little tip if you come up here, you can click on this little drop down and you can show or hide things like the sends or the inserts or even the comments. And so I want to look at the inserts. That's the exact same thing over on the uh, mix window. So I'll choose plugin, instrument, and I'm going to use expand. Expand is a fantastic free plugin with all your Pro Tools systems. If you have version 8, it looks a little different, green and black, but uh, it's the same plugin with a ton of great patches. Um, and what I'm going to choose is up here on factory default. You can see all these instrument categories. I'm going to choose basses. There we go. And you can sort of take a look at uh, what you got. Record enable your track and play on your keyboard controller. There you go. So that's the full pick bass. Um, I'm going to choose, uh, I'll choose the fingerless bass. You can close out of the window and you still can play through it even if the window is closed. It just gives you some screen real estate. And let's just get down to it. I want to come in right after the uh, drums come in. So I'm going to zoom in here and uh, let's record. There's some bass guitar on the keyboard action. Now the beauty of this is I'm not a great keyboard player, but Pro Tools can help me. So I laid down as close as I could following the tempo, but what we can use is quantization. Um, quantizing is basically dragging MIDI data and snapping it to a predefined grid or feel. And there's a menu to do that from. If you select the MIDI data I just recorded, I can pretty much come up to the event event operations quantize or option zero pulls it up and this is sort of a dialog box where you have some options I want to quantize I can choose to the eighth note to the quarter note I'm gonna stick with sixteenth and um, here's some settings I kinda of work with sometimes the strength you can pull the slider all the way to a hundred so I want to snap it all the way perfectly to the grid or a little bit off um, and then randomize um, great tip from uh, from Joe Gilder over at Home Studio Corner. He uses the randomized slider to sort of make the different hits, especially if you're playing piano, not always line up together and it gives a little more human feel. But you can play around with those or whatever you want. Click apply and uh, what that does is you can sort of see if I undo it it's, it's see these are slightly off here but if I redo it snap into place nicely. So let's take a listen. Now you can do the exact same thing from quantizing over here if you do the show hide real time properties this is where you can add a quantize in real time you can choose some of the similar things 16th notes and this can be undone just by unchecking it so it's not a permanent thing it's just sort of snapping it while you're playing if you don't really want to mess with the menu anytime soon so that's an option too 
and if you option click any of these items they go away so that's a little base let's open up one more we'll do a stereo instrument track and I'm gonna call this pad and um, sometimes I like to add some strings or a, a pad patch in the background to fill it out and I'm gonna use expand again this time I has technically has to be a stereo version of expand there it is and I'm going to choose all the way up at the very top here we've got different pads I'm going to choose a soft pad uh, this one I was playing around with earlier C spray is kinda weird let's record enable <laughs> So you got that sort of weird, trippy, delay, muted pad thing going on. And what I'm going to do is try to lay something down here in the chorus. So let's zoom in here, and uh, we'll come in right after the bass. couple of random different effects and what you got is unlimited options really this is just MIDI data meaning these are just notes telling expand to play a C2 or a B3 and whatever patch you switch it to it will play the exact same chords of course just with a different instrument so you could come down to strings and choose phasing stack and rock it out like that <laughs> And if you're into that kind of thing, then that's perfect. <laughs> but I'm going to stick with uh, C spray for now. And that's it. That's the idea. You have uh, so much at your disposal. And if you're a decent keyboard player, you can do a lot. There's organs and pianos. And if you're not even a keyboard player like myself, you can fake it and quantize your way to happiness. Okay? So play around with some virtual instruments. Fill out your acoustic tracks or your guitar tracks, your keyboard tracks, and just bring in some nice different musical elements to your song. Use what you have for free in your Pro Tool session, and I'm sure it'll really make your song a lot better. Well, that's all for today, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Next week, we're going to jump into some cleaning up and some edits on the vocals, and uh, we'll almost wrapping it up here for the One Song, One Month Challenge. Again, if you're watching this over on YouTube, be sure to check out my site at therecordingrevolution.com. Uh, we'll have more articles and videos, as always, every week. And you can always follow me on Twitter or on uh, Facebook. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. Look forward to seeing you guys soon.